In Snohomish County, plenty of mom and pop shops are awaiting word when they can reopen. Today, a new economic group said they could help save them. Cairo 7 North Sound reporter Ryan Sims explains from Linwood. Unfortunately, just about every single business is struggling these days, including those that are essential, like this international grocery store. As you see, it's definitely still open for business, but going forward, keeping these shelves stocked is another story. We've never been through this before, but we are trying to, to do our best. Mohammed El Shabik's store is on an economic island. There is no trucking outside. We are we are having hard time to get stuff from California or for, from other states, actually. And this is our fear now. Not only is it a struggle to keep these shelves stocked, but relying on other stores here for customers, well, that's not really a possibility. After all, many of his neighbors have temporarily shut down. Nothing is open. There is no trucking. So uh, this is a lot of uh, struggles, yeah. To keep Mohammed's store and so many others afloat, Snohomish County recently set up a group to help small businesses succeed. We're focused here at the county really on aligning with the state, but also uh, getting folks together to think about what we can do as we start to open up to help people. The new Office of Economic Recovery and Resilience started meeting two weeks ago. As talk heats up about reopening the economy here, the group has been exploring ways to make life easier for struggling mom and pop shops. Already, the group is talking about extending construction and business permits for certain industries, as well as lowering fees and costs associated with operating businesses. For his part, Mohammed says he'll take any help he can get. It's not easy to be out in this situation, you know. We are coming every day here. We are scared. We don't know what's going to happen. So that's the story with business here in Snohomish County. But there is still very much another story about first responders here in this area, including an amazing success story. And at 6 o'clock, we'll tell you about that. In Linwood tonight, Ryan Sims, Cairo 7 News.